Championship playoff final will be between Huddersfield and Nottingham Forest. Here is a combined 11 from both of our Wembley squads. Okay, combined 11 time then from the Huddersfield and the Nottingham Forest squad. But come on, let's do this properly right down the middle. I want six picks from each squad, 11 players, one manager. Let's kick things off then with the managers. Spoilt for choice, Corberon or Cooper, both absolutely brilliant. I'm going to go for Cooper in my dugout. I feel his stock is just a tiny, tiny little bit higher. And remember, that means now it will be five Forest players and six Huddersfield players on the pitch. Decisions. Decisions. And on the pitch, let's address the nightmare area straight away. There are three very good right-sided players in these two squads. And I want to get all of them into my team. So, even though... These teams have both played with back threes this season. I'm going to go for a back four. It worked for Fulham and Bournemouth. It's going to work for me as well. So I want to get Jed Spence and Brennan Johnson of Forest and Sorba Thomas all in. My solution is I'm going to play Jed Spence as an orthodox fullback. He doesn't need the assurance of a back three um, inside him, does he? I'm going to stick Sorba Thomas on the inside of a central midfield three. So he can get out to the right. He can still bring those beautiful set plays as well. With that being said, I think the right-hand side's covered. So I'll stick Brennan Johnson up top in a front two. Just run in behind Brennan and score. Well, I've sorted the dugout and got those three very good right-hand side players into a vaguely sensible team shape. I've given myself a bit of an issue though because I've done three forest picks and one Huddersfield. So let's get this evened up right now with three Huddersfield picks right away. Nichols, get him in goal. I know Sambo was brilliant for Forrest in the uh, semi-final second leg, but Nichols has been fantastic all season. Very worthy addition in goal. I'll go for Toffolo at left back. Again, like Spence, I'm going to be moving him back a little bit. Don't worry, we'll still dominate down the sides there. Toffolo's been great and a bit of a goal machine as the regular season closed out. I'm also going to stick in Lewis O'Brien. He's going to mirror Sorba Thomas. He'll play left-hand side of my midfield three. Obviously, Thomas will have a little bit more license. Maybe O'Brien will tuck in a little, but he'll be my left footer. And he did, in fact, make my championship team of the season as well. Right, let's sort out our two centre-backs. And remember, in my system here, we're playing a back four with Spence and Toffolo bombing forward. So really, there isn't the insurance of the back three. And I probably just need the most mobile centre-halves, along with, of course, that ability to defend. So honourable mentions to Steve Cook, Tom Lees, Scott McKenna. But I'm going to go for Joe Worrell as my right-sided centre-back. And he's the captain for Forrest, isn't he? So bring a nice bit of leadership as well. I'm going to go for Levi Colwill, just with those big, wide-open spaces. I think the uh, youthful Chelsea loney will be able to deal without having an extra centre-back inside him. If you're keeping up, that's now five Huddersfield picks and four Forest. I'm sure you're already pondering who you're going to stick in your combined 11 in the comments. While you're doing that, why not hit the like button and support the video and the channel? I'm going to use my two remaining Forest picks up top. We've already got Brennan Johnson up there. We're going to pair him with Keenan Davis, who's a bit of a force of nature at the top end. I granted um, maybe Danny Ward or Jordan Rhodes might be, even Sam Surridge, in fact, might be better in terms of finishing, but Davis offers so much and hopefully uh, Johnson can be our finisher up there. Um, if I was going for a balanced, proper front three, I would have probably gone for Daniel Sinani down the left-hand side of Huddersfield, but I really like Zink and Argel. I think we can get enough whip from further back. So we're going to play Zink and Argel as a 10 off a traditional front two. Good numbers, good creative player, and it's just a very well-balanced three together at the top end there. Last pick then has to be a Huddersfield player, has to be a central midfielder. So we're either going for the energy and height of John Russell or the experience and now a bit of defensive cover from Jonathan Hogg. I think we've got plenty of physicality. So I want that now. So I want that leadership, especially if I left Steve Cook out. We're going to stick Jonathan Hogg in our central midfield to complete our combined 11. 
So that is my playoff final combined 11. Nichols in goal, Spence and Toffolo, fullbacks, Colwell and Worrell, centre backs, Hogg holding in midfield, O'Brien to his left, Thomas to his right, got a bit of license to get up to the right wing, uh, Zinkenagel in the 10 position, Davis and Brennan Johnson up top. If you want it with the same players, you could tweak it a little bit, make that a 4 2 3 1, double pivot there of Hogg. And O'Brien put Zinkenagel inside left, bring Thomas forward, stick Johnson in the 10 position. I'm happy with either. I prefer the first, honestly, but be a nice in game tweak to have up our sleeve for our manager in the dugout, Steve Cooper, to utilise. Should be a fun debate, hopefully, in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on my 11, but remember the next question from me would be who would you have? in your 11. Get your picks in, but please try and stay within the boundaries of the challenge. So no more than six picks per club. If you happen to support one of these clubs, the whole point of the challenge is you will have to leave out somebody who you really, really like. There's going to be plenty more content coming up in the build-up to the playoff final. But if you want more right now, why not check out here where you can find my vlog from the Huddersfield versus Luton semi-final second leg, or here where you can see the epic watch along from Nottingham Forest versus Sheffield United.